Welcome to what I believe is India's first supercar, the Bajaj Qt. Only 217 cc's in a single cylinder, but I'm going to talk to you why I think this has the makings of a great supercar. Now, Bajaj has lifted a lot of technology from, well, racy vehicles, vehicles that we regard as hypercars and supercars. So, much like a Porsche 911, the engine sits at the back and it powers the rear wheels. The brakes are not heavy disc brakes, they're drum brakes. You've got to think of Colin Chapman's Lotus 27. Drum brakes on all four tyres, dependable stopping power. Take a look here. They've been really serious with this. You can see the master cylinder over there, it's not even vacuum assisted. These are mechanical brakes. Take a look at these windows. You're not going to get heavy window mechanisms and roll-up windows. Heck, electric windows, not going to happen. No, you get sliding flaps like you're going to get on a WRC car or a Challenge car from Ferrari. Speaking of supercars, take a look at that design down here in the door. Doesn't that just make you think of the McLaren Senna? Now we move inside, and it's more simplistic nature. Much like the McLaren F1, the binnacle is right in the center. The gearbox, oh, the gearbox is the best bit. It's a five-speed sequential gearbox. And no, not some fancy dual-clutch system like you're going to get in a Porsche PDK. They've kept it simple, they've kept it racy. It's like the Ferrari F1 gearbox. It's a multiple-clutch setup. Forward, we'll select one of the five forward gears, and you can go backwards for reverse. It's got a radio in it, and that's pretty much where the creature comforts end. But they haven't gone with a heavy DVD or CD player. No, they've just made it a simple, simple MP3 player. It's a media player. Take a look at more of the interior and you're going to see where the weight savings continue. The pillars on the inside are devoid of carpeting. I mean, I've seen a couple of Ferraris that have more carpet than this. They have really gone to town with the weight saving. Then we come down to the steering wheel. Now Gordon Murray, if you've seen the interviews, he didn't want a thick, heavy steering wheel. He feels that it's unnatural, it's, it's, it's not something that is intuitive. He wanted an analog driving experience, so he went with a thinner steering wheel. Bajaj has lifted this straight out of the GMT-50. It really is thin and wiry, and it lets you really connect with the vehicle in a way unseen before. Just take a look at the proportions. You know exactly where the corners are. It's like the little Mini Cooper rally cars that were so popular out in Monte Carlo. I think that's one of the reasons why the Bajaj Cute is India's next supercar. 